All right, let's talk about the muscles of the lateral compartment of the leg. So here we're looking at the distal part of the lower limb, and this is a lateral view of it, very thankfully. Uh, we can see the calcaneus, or the bone of the heel, is there. And we could also see the fifth digit, or the pinky toe, there. Um, also, kind of obvious to me, is the lateral malleolus of the fibula there, which is going to be very relevant to our discussion right now. So the lateral leg is innervated by the superficial fibula or peroneal nerve, and it's supplied by blood by the anterior tibial artery. So we can see the common fibular nerve heading down here, and there's going to be an anterior uh, fibular or peroneal nerve that is deep supplying the anterior compartment, and there's also going to be a superficial one and we can see just a little bit of that superficial fibular nerve here, which supplies this lateral compartment. So the, the lateral compartment of the leg and the anterior compartment of the leg are immediately adjacent to one another. And it's probably worth noting that this lateral malleolus here separates the actions and the tendons and muscles of the anterior group from the tendons of this lateral group here, as we'll see. So the, the first muscle that I draw your attention to is fibularis or peroneus longus. Uh, fibularis longus muscle. Some of it there, some of it's obscured there, and there's the tendon for it. It's quite a glorious tendon, as we can see, coming down there. Fibularis longus muscle takes its proximal attachment from the head and superior lateral fibula, and it distally uh, attaches to the median cuneiform and the first metatarsal. So it's really kind of going under the, uh, the foot there to to get to that first metatarsal. Um, when active, it's responsible for plantar flexion of the talocrural joint. Uh, thankfully for us, um, this particular um, distal lower limb is in plantar flexion. So in anatomical position, the foot would be, it's quite a large foot, out uh, like that. But when plantar flexed, uh, the, uh, the toes would would be pointed down. So we're in plantar flexion now, which is nice. Uh, fibularis longus also is an everter of the subtalar and transverse uh, tarsal joints. So it's an everter of the foot. That means that the sole of the foot is going to be pulled out laterally. And we can see very clearly here this robust tendon being in quite close posterior relationship with that lateral malleolus. That's, that's kind of the, the dead giveaway for the, the tendon of fibularis longus. Now deep to fibularis longus, there's also fibularis brevis. And we can see fibularis brevis kind of poking out. So there's part of it there. Um, there's another part of it there. So it's going to be deep to fibularis longus, and definitely the tendon for fibularis longus. And fibularis brevis is taking its uh, proximal attachment from the lateral fibula, and it's running down to the tuberosity, there's its tendon there, of the fifth metatarsal. So whereas longus goes across the foot to the first metatarsal, brevis is going to the fifth metatarsal, and brevis is an important everter of the subtalar and transverse tarsal, that is, uh, of those ankle and, uh, and foot joints to evert the foot. And so its tendon is going to run deep to the fibularis longus tendon, 
at the lateral malleolus and then you can see it is then going to be anterior to its uh, the fibularis longus tendon as it moves through. So thank you for your time in our discussion of the lateral leg and uh, let's talk again for the posterior leg. Thank you.